everybody, it's Friday again. I can't believe it's Friday already. This week's gone so quickly. Um, and I'm hoping that you're all gonna be doing a Friday dance for me today. My class will know what I mean. Um, so today we are going to be looking at our riddles again. We're gonna order our clues and write up in our neatest handwriting and making a few improvements along the way. But before we do that, we've got our warm up activity, which I will show you now. So your warm up today is to spot the adverbs in these two sentences. Now I'll just remind you what an adverb is. It is a word that describes how a verb is done. So it describes how something or somebody does something. So I'll read the two sentences and see if you can spot the adverbs. So the first one is the snake slivered slowly across the sand. And the second one is the dolphin splashed happily in the deep water. So pause the video now so you can decide where the adverb is in each of those two sentences. These are the answers. For the first sentence, as you can see in red, the word slowly is the adverb because the snake is slivering which is the verb, slivered is the verb, and slowly is the way that the snake did that verb, okay? So he slivered slowly. And in the second sentence, again in red, you can see happily is the adverb. So the dolphin splashed, so splashed is the verb, and happily is the adverb. It says the way that the verb is done. Okay, hope you got that right. Now onto our main lesson, so today, we're going to be using our strips of paper to order and improve our clues for our riddle. And we're going to be writing them up in neat. Here are my six clues on my strips of paper from yesterday. So my first job is to put them in a really good order. So the clues that come first are clues that could apply to any animal. And then gradually the clues get easier and more specific to a snake. Um, so the easiest clues come last, the, one, the, the clues that give it away. And you go, oh, I know what it is now. Okay, so um, some people call me a scary viper, cobra or adder. Now that was one that I circled, wasn't it, when I did my first plan. And I said that that needed to go last because that really gives it away. No other animals are called viper, cobras or adders. That gives it away. So that's got to go last. Um, I am a fierce animal with no legs or arms. I don't think that really gives it away. So I'm just gonna put that one to the side because that might go near the beginning. I have large, sharp fangs. Not many animals have got fangs. So I might put that kind of near the bottom. I'm gonna just put that down there for a second. Beware, my painful bite can be poisonous. There's, there's be spiders, there's spiders that are poisonous as well. Um, there's other animals that are poisonous. I might put that one sort of in the middle for now. My home is under the ground or in a warm, heated tank. Well, loads of animals live under the ground. And lots of reptiles and insects and things you keep in a tank and snails and things like that. So I'm going to put that one quite near the top, I think. Um, I slowly eat small frogs, mice and insects. I don't think that one really gives it away either so that kind of goes in the middle. So I'm going to have the one about the no legs at the top, the one about where it lives second, um, I'm going to put the one about what it eats third, my painful bite can be poisonous, oh now he starts to narrow it down again it has to be something that bites and that's poisonous and I have large sharp fangs People might start start have guessed by now, I'm not sure. And then oh, the giveaway at the end, people call me a scary viper, cobra or adder. And then you'd have what am I at the end as well, of course. Okay, so get your clues from yesterday on your strips of paper and put them in order. So the first two to three clues shouldn't give it away. And the last clue should be the easiest. So if somebody's reading your riddle, when they read the first few clues, they think, oh, I wonder what it could be. I just can't, can't decide. There's so many animals it could be. And then the last, perhaps, two clues, they think, oh, I know what it is. And then the last clue is the, the big giveaway. Okay?
but not saying the animal's name, obviously. Um, so pause the video now to order your clues. So as you can see, I've written up all my clues in that order, in my very best handwriting, and I've started a new line for each clue to make it easier for the person solving my riddle to read. Okay. Now I want to make some of my clues a bit longer with a conjunction. I think this one, I slowly eat small frogs, mice and insects. I think I can add so to that one. So I am a carnivore. So I've used the word so as my conjunction and I've joined on I am a carnivore as an extra sentence. And I've got beware, my painful bite can be poisonous. I'm going to use and as my conjunction and join on another sentence. I hiss. So I hiss would make sense on its own, um, and I've used and as the conjunction, I've used an exclamation mark there. I have large sharp fangs, I'm going to use and again, let's say something about those scales, and I have colourful I think that gives it away, so that means my last two clues are a bit easier. So I'm happy with that now. So I've got and and I have colourful skills as the sentence that's been joined on. Then at the bottom, I've got what am I? So don't forget your question at the end with a question mark. All of us can put what am I at the end. And then I've drawn a little snake and I'm putting a flap of paper over so that they can't see what it is until the very end. It's a bit of fun at the end for you to add on. Okay. Okay, so you've already ordered your clues, so you've done the first part of our task. So now you need to write up your clues onto paper. Now on our class page on the website, there is a piece of paper that you can print out, to, uh, like a template that you can write your clues on, or you can just write it in your book with the lines on that you've got at home or on a piece of paper. Um, now there's two challenges to choose from today, depending on how you think you're going to find this task. Entry level is to write your clues up in neat, so that means in your very best handwriting, and we all saw how our handwriting should be when we did our handwriting practice on Wednesday. So we need those lead in lines and lead out lines, please. And if you join your handwriting, please do today. Show, show off your amazing handwriting today, please. Um, and also for entry level, we are looking for capital letters, full stops and finger spaces. Please do not forget those. Check every single clue has got all of those things. And then at the end of your riddle, finish with a question, what am I? And don't forget your question mark. And then challenge one, just a little bit more. It's all of those things that are an entry level, um, but then to also use three conjunctions to make three of your clues longer, so joining sentences together with conjunctions like and, but, because, and so. All right, don't forget to send in your lovely work to us. We can't, we can't wait to read your beautiful riddles that are all lovely and well presented.